Morning YouTube. See, we had a lot of uh, snow yesterday. Flea market got canceled. Uh, that's okay because uh, today on Sunday, we're on our way to a, a comic book show in a couple towns over. Never been to this show, never been to this location, so not sure what to expect, if it's gonna be big or small or good stuff or terrible stuff, but we're gonna find out. Their doors open at 10 a.m., which is a bit of a late start time for a show, but we're gonna get there for pretty much the start. We're gonna be there for 10 a.m. And uh, yeah, you guys will see what's inside in just a second. See ya. Thank 
please. 20. 20. Thanks a lot. Thank you. You too. Yeah, take your time. Look at it. Got a nine. Yeah, it's really nice. It's got a, it's got a color rub in the back. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. A little minor color rub. Otherwise, it'd be a nine four. Yeah. I'm trying to see. It's hard to. Sort of like I don't know what the heck that is over there. Yeah, I see, I see what you mean. Otherwise, I mean, it here is like a nine four higher. But I'm gonna say it's a nine. It's his first Marvel appearance, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What year is that? It's probably 70, 70 75 or something. Close my eyes, man. <laughs> 77. So. 150. 150. Grade a copy goes for over 200. Yep. In that, in that, in that price. All right. Definitely going to think about it. Thank you. Number 37? I'm not on the people set up like I just got this
came back for seconds. Pulled that out of the ten dollar bin. Got it. Ten dollars fine. Thank you. Do you need a bag or? No, I got one. Thank okay. you. Ten. Thank you very much. Thanks. Have a good one. You too. I just didn't want to argue. Can you guys watch this for me for a minute? I just gotta have a sip drink now. What's going on? Really How's it good going? Job with your videos, man. I've been watching you. Thank you. Finding Thank some you. nice stuff. Yeah, we're doing good. The channel's yeah. growing pretty yeah, good. No, it's, it's growing. Yeah, man. I was watching you getting a lot of good views. You know. Yeah, it's it's you, awesome. Your viewership's going up. It's awesome. And same with your videos. I, I love watching them. Thank you. Thank love you. watching. You know what? How can I have fun? You coming to King Cup? What? When is that? Next week. Next weekend. Next Saturday. All right. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll definitely. For? I didn't get a flyer. I think I have one. Let me see. But I think I had it marked in my calendar. Sweet. You mind if I just take a picture of it? Yeah, keep, take that, keep that. Keep it? Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's, it's big. It's big. That's big. That's big. That's big. That's big. We're not going to miss it. Yeah. Definitely. You're going to get guys that you don't know most of. Mm -hmm. Like Barry Gary from YouTube. Mm -hmm. he, gets four, he gets four to five tables. Really? His inventory. <laughs> I can only imagine. He was there. He'll be setting up there. His inventory is crazy. Yeah. You have to see Gary's inventory. I can't. I was just talking to him the other day. It's like, I think he's bringing like 300 slabs along. Really? Yeah. Really? Slabs. That's crazy. That's insane. But last time I went there, he had everything. He had an X Men one up on the wall. Mm -hmm. You know, you just sit there. You I don't know that. how he, he has the time. For he has an infant at all. Two. Well, his daughter. Yeah, his daughter's yeah, what, like four. Plus, he works a full time job. I know. You're just retired. Just retired. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I, if I had been smart enough to start teaching by the time I was 25, I'd be. Yeah, that's when you start young. Now, but now you got to start when you're like him. Yeah. <laughs> He's, but see, he's an entrepreneur. He's smart. He's got the GoPro going. He's got his channel going. He's making it grow. You sell on eBay only, or what do you sell? You doing whatnot? eBay, yet? Facebook Marketplace, mostly. Okay. That, that's where most of it's coming from. I know a lot of people go into that whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like a, the next, next big thing. Yeah, it, it's interesting. I'm always nervous with things that I, I don't normally right, use. Right, because, the unknown, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah me too. But Same here. That's you got to branch, branch out and just go for it sometimes, you know? Again, good job. Keep yeah. it. Yeah. Thank Talk you. To you. Thank you. I could do a, I could let it go for a hundred. So that's the first mode I could for a hundred, but it's not in great shape. Fifty on this story, one oh eight. I'm just trying to think. This isn't uh I'm getting, uh, This isn't the pen, is it? Not sure. What are you thinking? Whatever you think, I don't know. It's your deal. So just to fill you guys in, Dad is in the middle of a negotiation. Um, he picked out two comics off the guy's wall. They're priced a little high. And he just kind of freezes up here a little bit, and me being, uh, you know, kind of, it's, it, this is his deal that he's doing, but I'm kind of here to, to support him on the side. I tell him, hey, maybe we should just step away, uh, take a breather, walk around, and then come back to it if you still want to do it. So that's what I suggest that he do. Just do a lap around and see what you think. But after walking around, looking at other uh, options to buy, other deals, other other comics, uh, we end up coming back to this guy, and and you know that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Now we had time to collect our thoughts. We had time to come up with a counter offer, and you know Dad offers the guy sixty five for an original asking price of eighty of eighty dollars. Get the deal done, and I think stepping back, walking around, and just thinking about it. Uh, uh, worked in our favor there, and I suggest people do that if you're ever unsure. All right, thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, guys, back at the house after a wonderful morning at the comic convention in Clifton, New Jersey. Uh, I will just say a shout out to everybody that hosted the event and all the vendors that were there and that uh, I, along with other YouTubers, will be at uh, a show in Island, New Jersey uh, this coming Saturday. Saturday, I believe, uh, is it the 20th or the 20 or the 19th? I believe Saturday the 19th. We're going to be at a show in Isla, New Jersey called King Con. It is a comic book uh, coll uh, collectible show, uh, mostly comic books. And primarily, a lot of the people that are going to be there are YouTubers from the general area, New York, Pennsylvania, Delaware, New Jersey. Um, it should be a pretty nice event. I heard a lot of good things about the first one I, I, that I did not attend. But this is their second annual uh, uh, get-together convention. So it should be pretty cool. I heard there's going to be a lot of vendors, a lot of comic, uh, a lot of comic guys, and a lot of YouTubers. So I'll be there um, for a good chunk of the day. Uh, if anybody wants to come by, uh, I I think it's going to be fun. I mean, I'm I'm going to to meet some people that I've watched on YouTube also. So uh, it should be fun. So we have a ton, a nice little stack of books that we got at the um, convention, plus uh, a purchase of comic books that came from eBay. Uh, I'm going to go through these first, and I'm going to go kind of quickly because um, there's some good stuff in here, but a lot of it's a lot of it's like in terrible condition, as you can see. Um, this is a, a, a pretty pretty bad beater lot of comics. And let's just back us up real quick. There we go. So yeah, the the this um this batch of comics my dad purchased off eBay. I believe it's 134 comics. And he paid uh, right around a dollar fifty a piece, or maybe a little less. Um, we will see what he has. I'm not entirely sure everything that's in here. I saw some cartoon stuff, but obviously we have some DC superhero stuff here to start off. And like I'm saying, condition's not great, uh, but we'll see what we got. But um, had a lot of fun at the comic show. It was the first time. Um, I've been at a comic book show, just specifically comic books, in, in quite a, a, a while. I want to say, uh, man, at least since before COVID. I mean, because I've gone to collectible shows, collectible shows, toy shows, antique shows. Um, but that was the first time I've been to a comic show in a while. And, it, and obviously, it's the first time I've been to a comic book show since starting the channel. So it was really fun to be out there. There's a nice Avengers 157. That looks like it, it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, we got some. Oh, okay. We got some nice books here. Uh, Star Wars number four. Nice copy of Star Wars number ten. Eleven. Twelve. What else we got? 16. It's got a little tear there in the bottom. Seventeen. And eighteen. A nice little Star Wars run there. Move these up. But yeah, so be, being at the at the show is pretty cool. Um a lot of nice vendors there. Um, one guy that I know in particular, not that I know him. But I've bought a lot of stuff from him in the past. Is the the gentleman who owns uh, Zap Comics, um, a really cool, uh, really cool guy, and just always has great stuff at great price. He's the guy that I bought um, most of, uh, pretty much all of my comics from. All my buys came from his stand because he's just so he's so fair with the prices, and he, and he always has good quality stuff. So, you know that that's a, that's always a win for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, hey, if you've been out of the comic book world for, you know, a year or two now, uh, prices are ridiculous <laughs> and, uh, and obviously going to a convention is only going to make it worse, but the, the prices for some of the, these, th these comics have, have just gone through the roof, especially when you, when you look at the last time I went to a show, the last time I went to a show, like I said, before COVID was the thing, um, prices since then have just skyrocketed and, and you know, uh, key issues are just, they're, they're so tough to come by. All, all the, the big guys have really swallowed up a lot of the, the key issues and, and they got high stickers on them and, and, you know, they're not really, 
they're not pushing to move them. You know, nobody needs to is in a position where they need to sell right now. That's where you find deals is when people get a little desperate and they need to sell. But right now, when the market's hot like this, guys, uh, finding it finding deals are, are really really tough, especially on on good comics like really good like that upper echelon of comic books it's just tough to find good stuff you gotta you gotta get a little creative when when finding deals you gotta get lucky um and then you have to do a lot of speculation which is not something i'm particularly good at usually whatever i want to happen or is is not what ends up happening so every time i want this character to be in a movie or this character to make an appearance they usually go with some other obscure character that that i didn't even think of and so i try not to speculate uh, as much as I try to just um, either a collect or b find find a value deal, um, something that I know I can I can turn over for for a profit, um, or like I said, collect just something just buy something that I really like and something that I really want to keep. Um, that's what I did with that Scooby Doo comic. Um, if you guys watched uh, the video, you saw me ask uh, one of the dealers about the Marvel comic Scooby Doo. Um, it's not the first appearance of Scooby-Doo in a comic book because uh, the original appearance was in the Gold Key issues. And that book is, what, now probably like a five to $700 book, maybe more, maybe $1,000. Um, I thought on the Marvel, on the Marvel uh, Scooby-Doo number one, uh, I thought he was gonna say because it wasn't in it wasn't it wasn't like nine point eight or nine point six or anything like that. You know, it was a nice copy. It was it was a it was a solid nine uh, eight five nine. It was a solid copy. I thought he was gonna be in the ballpark of a hundred to one hundred twenty five dollars, and I could say something like, you know, would you take a little less than a hundred ninety ninety five maybe? Uh, but he you know he just had a he had a one fifty sticker on it, and it's just like oh man, like even the is, this isn't even like the first appearance, Scooby. This is like. This is like a, a later first appearance, and it's still still commanding 150. And then I looked the prices up on on eBay for it, and I was like, you know, yeah. I mean, he wasn't far off. I mean, the the, the books are legitimately that high, and uh, yeah, it's it something like that. That was something that I wanted to buy to to keep and to collect and to, and to own it. Uh, but at that price, um, I'll I'll wait on that a little bit. All right, so that was a lot of the superhero stuff in this eBay lot. Remember, this this lot is a hundred. 34 comics or 130 comics something like that um came out to about a dollar 50 a book and there's a nice roadrunner comic one of my favorite cartoons pretty cool dennis the menace cover a little frankenstein action on there that's pretty cool but yeah, and then at the end, you know, my dad and I, um, we were walking around looking for looking for a, a nice key to buy, maybe make like a really cool uh, ch uh, moment for the channel, buying a really super awesome key. And, you know, I was just looking around, and, man, guys, and I was like, yeah, I'm not feeling it, man. Like, there, there, there's nothing that's calling my name. There's not a book that I thought was undervalued or a book that... Um, or a book that I really, really wanted at a good price, and so you know, if it's not, it's not, if it's not at a price that I really, really want, you know, I'm not going to make a huge uh, mistake and buy something just because I have to have it or something like that. Uh, I'm 23 years old, guys. My my best years are ahead of me. I don't have to have anything right now at this point in time. Um, if I was older, you know, if I was 50, 60, 70, and I was like, I was, you know, I, I lived the good life, and now I got something that I really, really want, you know, I'll I'll plunk, plunk the money down and get it and add it to my collection and and pass it on. But right now, you know, I just got to, I'm not, I'm not in a position where I can just spend money like that. So I got to conserve every dollar. And some people have said, and this is not a lot of you. I'm just saying every once in a while, every once in a blue moon, I'll get a, maybe once a month, I'll get a comment, something like, you know, you should be in it more for the hobby and not so much for the money. Guys, I mean, I'm not into, I'm not into the, the comic book industry for the money. That That's not, you know. I would say that there's better industries to get into if you're looking to make money. Uh, I'm in it because I have a passion for for the books, um, especially what I like. I like I like bronze and silver age Marvel comic books. That's my bread and butter. I like some other issues. I like other series. I like I like DC. I like cartoon comics, um, even and even horror magazines and horror comics and stuff like that. You know, I like all that stuff. Um, but uh, but you know, at the end of the day. 
Um, I'm not a money machine. I don't have a I don't have a money tree in my backyard, and I am 100% um, always evaluating the price of what I can sell it for and what it's worth when making a purchase. So, uh, I would I would suggest most everybody do that. I mean, I think that if you're just paying whatever an asking price is just because you got to have a book, um, you know that 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 puts the seller in a great position. And and for me as the buyer, I want to be the one in the great position. I want to be the educated buyer. Who knows what I can do? I know I can turn this over, and then I can, you, I can, uh, um, you know, buy and sell books at a good value. Um, buy, you know, focus on price, 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 and turn that, turn those books over, and then buy a really nice book, and you know, like, like do something like that. Um, but yeah, so I, you know, so if you're one, if you're somebody that thinks, you know, is this kid in it just for the money? No, um, like I said, there's there's better ways to to make money than than buying and selling comics, especially right now at this point in time. It's it's so tough to find good deals um, in the collectibles sphere. Um, but I have I've had a passion for collectibles ever since I was probably four, five, or six when I first uh, discovered my my dad's collection, and you know we uh, went through a bunch of books, and he would read me a lot of Hulk and Juggernaut stories. That's how I, you know, became, maybe that's how it became my favorite. Um, so the the passion's there, but I I try not to be stupid with my money, and that, that's why when I lose money, I'm pretty upset. Um, and when I make money, I'm pretty happy with it, because, you know, that means I'm doing something right, and that means... Um, that means I can now move on to the next bigger purchase. You know what I mean? If you're losing money all the time or if you don't care about money, then um, you must be in a, in, a, in a great position. That That's not me. That's not what this channel's about. This channel's about um, the finances of, of, of our purchases and what we can turn things over for and then just sharing a passion for the, for the hobby. So with that being said, let's keep going on these books. We've got a lot of... Obviously, Walt Disney uh, comics here. Super goofy. And these, these, I mean, these aren't in great shape. These are in better shape than the superhero ones that look like, which is unfortunate because, you know, the Walt Disney books just don't command as much as the superheroes. But as fate would have it, they are in pretty nice shape. And the superheroes comics were a little rough. But probably whoever owned these probably enjoyed reading the uh, the superhero comics a lot more than they did the, the Disney books. And this one's pretty rough. Andy Panda. Another Daisy and Donald. Got some gold key. Walt Disney Comics and Stories. Uh, so let me know in the comments, guys. What did you think of the show? I mean, um, have you guys been to uh, comic book shows? I know there's some people that uh, have told me that, you know, finding shows and finding comic book stores in general is just so tough to come by. So, I mean, what was your what were your impressions? That's kind of a, a big one there. Let's see what this is. Ludwig von Drake. Kind of a giant uh, tall, tall boy there. So what? Tell me what you guys thought of the show. I was, I was very impressed with um, the number of dealers that were there. Uh, considering it wasn't it wasn't a huge spot, uh, the Clifton Commons, uh, the Clifton Rec Center, wasn't a huge venue, but they did a nice job. They really packed everybody in there nicely. And there's something that I like: a Marvel double feature, Captain America and Iron Man. And like I said in the, in the beginning of this recap, real, I'm really excited for uh, this King King Con, um, their second annual King Con. Um, apparently, a lot of a lot of YouTubers and content creators go out there for this uh, are going to go out there for this show. So that'll be pretty cool. I mean, who knows who we'll run into? Could be anybody. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of people that I've never heard of before. But I'm hoping uh, hoping I run into people that I I actually watch and. And guys that I've learned from. Marvel Triple Action. Creature on the Loose. Oh, 
not sure what these are here. Doobie, Gi uh, Doby, Doby Gillis and Hunk seem interesting. Seem like fun comics. A 12 cent Casper. Got a couple of 12 cent Caspers here. More Felix the Cat. Challenges of the Unknown. Some of these sci fi comics. Tales of the Green Beret. Another Disney comic there. Pollyanna. Uh, Mr. Miracle. Pretty cool. Fury. What do we have here? Annie Oakley. Nice. Annie Oakley has a little bit of history actually in the in my hometown. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Learned a lot about her in elementary school. Beverly Hillbillies. Anthro, never heard of it. Looks like a kind of barbarian caveman kind of thing. Oh, super cool. Wacky races. Nice. I I love these covers. I love the, the artwork and design. Um, on top of being a, a Hanna-Barbera cartoon guy, I'm also a car guy, so Wacky Races is always a lot of fun. Um, watching the show and reading the comics. Really into that stuff. Oh, here's a nice one. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. It looks like an... Uh, it's got the sticker up here. I was going to say it looks like it's in really nice shape. See if we can get that. I don't know if it's even worth trying to get that sticker off without tearing anything. We'll see. House of Mystery. Yeah, well, to end out the the batch, we got a 12 cent Superman's girlfriend Lois Lane and a Captain Marvel number three. So the, those are kind of out of nowhere, but they were in there, so we'll stick with it. And we'll move on to the comics that were purchased at the show. Uh, bear with me, guys, if you hear my dog barking. All right, guys, so I'll start off with some of the purchases my dad made. Um, I'm not sure what he paid for everything, um, because we, him and I did split up and, and just, uh, we hit different ends of the, uh, the, sh uh, the show at the same time, but he got this run here, part, parts one through three of the Draco, uh, on, Uncanny X-Men comics, and I know why he got it, because <laughs> of the Juggernaut cover right there, I'm pretty sure that's a new one to our collection, but he got, um, 429, 430, and 431. Really love the Juggernaut cover. And these, I believe he did pay $3 for because I saw him going through a $3 box. Uh, got some Amazing Spider-Man. 233 with the Tarantula. Um, 214 with Namor and the Frightful Four. And 274. Soul of the Spider, cool, uh, cool cover, a lot going on there. And then some of the stuff I'm not sure what he paid for. I have no idea if it was, um, knowing my dad, probably between one and three dollars. But the Vision and Scarlet Witch, um, it's got a king size annual Jungle Tales of Tarzan number one, Uncanny X Men 200. Uh, Uncanny X-Men 217, another really cool Juggernaut cover. And this one looks like it had a $3 sticker on it. Iron Man 113. All right, now I'm going to show you guys my, my comics. And I was super stoked with uh, the books that I found at the price I found them at. Three bucks a piece for these. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 158. Amazing Spider-Man 163, not in the best of shape, but it still looks pretty good. Uh, Strange Tales featuring Doctor Strange, number 188. Um, 
Thor 213 and Thor 224. So that was from Zap Comics. The, the booth got super crowded. I'm sure there were a lot of good books in there that everybody was grabbing. I'm glad I pulled these out of there for 15 bucks. Uh, but then everything calmed down. I went back just to see some of his other his other bins. And in the $10 bin, he had Hulk 111. Uh, that's in, just in really... And this is why I bought I didn't buy it because it was $10. Because there were some other books in there uh, that might have been worth it. But I bought it, guys, because of the condition of this book. I mean... My God, the colors are fantastic. The corners are sharp. There's not like a tear or really even a rip anywhere. I mean, that's why I bought it. I mean, for 10 bucks, that's that's well worth every penny of it. Um, super cool that he had that book. And any, I'm sure he had a lot of other great books in there um, that were probably worth it. But I, me be, being on a little bit of a limited budget... Um, I sprung on this one because I thought just the condition just won me over. It was super, super clean. And now we'll get into the two big purchases of the day. Dad made a deal. I forgot if he paid 60 or 65 for both. But the original asking price was 80 30 for the Spider-Man book and 50 for the X-Men book. But after he took some time, we, we the guy hit him with, it, with uh, the books. He stepped back to collect, collect his thoughts. Came back at the guy with a nice counter offer. And Spider-Man 84, Kingpin Strikes Back. And then the big purchase, super cool. Love to see it. X-Men 108. Um, just one of those early new X-Men comics. Super cool. I mean, we, 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 were, t we are, were having this discussion um, for me personally. I love the original 60s spider-man the original 60s fantastic four the original 60s hulk the original 60s thor the, the you know the the early silver age stuff is just so so cool and i love the early silver age x-men too but when they made that switch in giant size x-men one um it this this artwork is just way more encapsulating than the original which which is something that i don't rarely say for for me i, I always love the original art the best and while I do love the original art for the X-Men, the new X-Men after Giant Size X-Men 1 and X-Men 94, which was featured on this channel uh, uh, during Christmas, during Christmas time, that for me is the, is the best era of X-Men. And this at 108 is in that era of just super, super cool. This is the, this is the era to have for X-Men comics. This, the, they, they just took it to a whole new level when they switched up the team a little bit here. So that was our day. Um, these were kind of the big books of the day overall. You guys get all that? So super cool. Got a nice stack uh, from the from the show of really nice quality books. Got some big stacks there of, uh, of, of eBay purchases. Nothing too spectacular, but a nice buy. And then we got our three big books here that we that we bought at the show. Uh, I'll, I hope to see somebody uh, next week at King Con. Remember, that's in Island, New Jersey. Look it up. I'm sure they have a, a website and everything, a, a Facebook group probably. Who knows? Um, look it up. Be there. A lot of the big names are going to be there. Uh, I will be there. Um, and it should be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, uh, comment, and let me know what your favorite thing was, and let me know what, what I missed. Let me know what was the good buy, so hopefully next time I run into it, you know, I'll pick up on it. Uh, thank you guys for, another, for allowing me to make another great video, and enjoy. See you guys next time.